Hi there everyone and welcome to this video. Uh, in this video we'll be talking about some of the uh, restrictions that we can impose on the system around posting uh, sales invoices and purchase invoices. Uh, so it's functionality that came in a little while ago um, but not had the chance to uh, do a video for this but uh, let's get into it and uh, I'll show you now. So um, what I'm going to do is just come up to the search and search for a page here called user setup. So uh, you may use this page already but um, over here um, I've got a record for um, our user ID so um, that's myself here on this system I'm the admin user um, and the two fields that we're focusing on here are the sales invoice posting policy and the purchase invoice posting policy okay so you've got the same options available in each of these um, but they affect obviously the sales ledger and the purchase ledger depending on sort of how you set those up and uh, it is um, sort of a modification that we've made over the years but um, now you don't need to modify the system to uh, impose this uh, this behavior so um, if we go through the options here we have allowed um, when it comes to the sales invoice posting policy, we've got allowed, prohibited and mandatory. And what these basically do is they change some of the options that are available to us when we're processing documents on the sales ledger for the sales invoice posting policy and the purchase ledger for the purchase invoice posting policy. And uh, I'll just focus on the sales ledger for today's video guys but um, you get the idea it will do the same thing uh, or similar things on the purchase ledger and uh, there is a learn article which is quite good that shows some of the uh, the different options that you get on a on a nice matrix table um, when you're using um, these fields uh, might be quite useful because um, they do affect a number of different areas so obviously as with anything before you start using them um, in your system just make sure that you're comfortable with the way that they work in a sandbox environment first um, and then go ahead and move them into your production. Um, and obviously guys this works um, on a user by user basis so as we can see this is the user record for admin therefore the um, settings that I make in this field will affect that user but I can add other users in here if I have other users in my system for whom I want to set up these restrictions. So let's go through and uh, see what happens when we have these fields set as um, different settings. Okay, so um, right now the sales invoice posting policy is set to allowed and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you on a sales order but this does affect many other document types guys so uh, just be careful when you're using it okay but i'll just show you on a sales order um, so let me go into a new sales order and i'm going to select my customer a datum corporation and i'm going to go in and add our athens desk let's go quantity one and that is my very simple sales order put in okay so now if i go into post what you'll notice here is look I've got the option to ship an invoice I've got the option to invoice or I've got the option to ship and invoice so this is probably the uh, the list of options with which most people are familiar this is how it's been in uh, business central and nav for many years um, and I see these three options because if I go back to my user setup I've got the sales invoice posting policy of allowed selected okay so now if I go into prohibited let me go back I'm going to go into my same sales order and if I go into say post this time here see I don't get the option to ship or invoice or ship and invoice now it says do you want to post the shipment okay so I'm going to press no on that and why did it say that well just to review let me go back to my user setup here and you'll see my sales invoice posting policy is now prohibited okay so I can't post that invoice I can only post the shipment now final option in here if I say mandatory 
you're probably going to guess already what this does but let me go back to my sales order and let me say post and here it says look do you want to post the shipment and the invoice okay so this is basically forcing me now because of my setting on the user setup to post both the shipment of my Athens desk and the invoice for my Athens desk as well okay and why is it saying this well again let's go back to user setup and on the user setup now the sales invoice posting policy is mandatory okay and really guys that's all that I wanted to show you in this video I guess just a few disclaimers here um, this obviously will depend on the way that you operate as a business you know the setting that you have in this particular field um, it will depend on how you invoice your customers also though it will depend on your operations as well right so who posts your your invoices who posts your shipments um, what part of the business does that? Is it the same people? Is it different people? Um, and just again as a disclaimer here guys, I only showed you this functionality on a sales order but obviously um, we can post invoices from a few different areas you know on the sales ledger and the purchase ledger um, so just have a think about sort of the implications of changing this field before you do uh, and as always do that in a sandbox environment first before going ahead and doing it in a production environment and uh, I will pop that link in for the learn.microsoft.com um, link uh, at, at the bottom there in the description just so you can have a read through and uh, they do have a nice matrix table on that link which shows um, the different implications across all of the different types of documents of changing these field settings. Okay, so that's everything I wanted to run through. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.